Hi class, it's Miss Bongiorno and I am outside getting ready to do a read aloud for you in this snowy weather. And since I know how much you guys like snow, I have a story about a snow plow that discovers an important lesson. It's called The Little Snow Plow, written by Laura Kohler, illustrated by Jake Parker. So here we go. On Mighty Mountain Crew, the trucks came in one size, big. That is, until a new little snowplow joined the group. You're such a little snowplow, the big truck said. Leave the heavy lifting to us. And off they roared. So all spring, the little snowplow cleared streams while the big trucks bulldozed mudslides. In summer, he cleaned up after parades while the big trucks built roads. In the fall, he pushed leaves into piles while the big trucks mounded mountains of salt and sand. As fall turned into winter, the little snowplow began training. He made the light on top go around, and he blew his horn. Beep, beep. He drove forward and back. Then he raised and lowered his plow ten times fast. Look, he's exercising. Everything was in working order. He could hardly wait for snow. Ha ha ha, said the dump truck. You've never even seen snow. The little snowplow ignored him. He knew what snow was. Why, I remember snow up to the caves. To the eaves, said a cement mixer. Yeah, we had a big, strong snowplow back then the garbage truck said. Too bad she retired, the utility truck said. I heard she moved to a beach in Florida. I hope it doesn't snow like that this winter, the dump truck said. It might be too much for a little snowplow. We'll probably have to help. The little snowplow turned his bumper on the trucks. Aww. They're basically saying that he can't do a good job because he's small. But that night he raised and lowered his plow ten extra times. And the next day he added even more exercises. He pushed loads of gravel and he pulled blocks of concrete just in case. One morning, Will the road crew foreman burst in before dawn. It's a real blizzard out there, the dump, dump truck snorted. <laughs> Looks like there's already more th than a little snow plow can handle. Beep, beep. The trucks looked soft and fun. Er, the, the drifts of snow looked soft and fun for the little snow plow. Let's go, Will said. They drove out into the storm. The snowplow cleared the streets of Mighty Mountain, but it kept snowing. So the little snowplow cleared the streets of Mighty Mountain again. It snowed harder and the wind began to howl. Once more, the snowplow started to clear the streets. Deep drifts swirled around his treads. Icy gusts blew against his windshield. Snow piled up higher than he could raise his plow. He wondered if he should have done more plow lifts. This one's too big for anyone to handle on their own, Will said. He called for some backup. I knew that plow would need help, the dump truck grumbled as he drove out. The little snowplow wiped his windshield and kept plowing. 
Silver Fork, Stampede Avenue, Main Street. That's when he heard a rumbling. He saw the dump truck drive by. Then the little snowplow heard a thundering. He turned the corner of Main and Ridge and... Just as an avalanche avalanche swept down the mountain, beep, beep, beep. the little snowplow cried. <gasps> Look what's happening to the dump truck. He's buried, Will yelled. No time to lose. But it will take hours for those big trucks to move that boulder. The little snowplow drove forward. He backed up. He repositioned. He edged forward and squeezed past the boulder. Way to go, half pint, Will said. The big trucks could not have gotten through there. The little snowplow plunged his plow into the avalanche debris. He dug and dug and dug. His engine shuddered, his exhaust sputtered, the needle on his gas gauge dropped. Will pointed, there he is! The little snowplow dug faster. Crack! More snow crashed behind him. Hurry, Will said. Shovels of snow flew in all directions. He's trying to unbury the dump truck. <laughs> That's a kind thing. Will raced to attach a cable between the trucks. The little snowplow drove forward, tugging. The dump truck revved his engine. His wheels spun. <laughs> The little snowplow braced himself and pulled. Just as he practiced, the dump truck's wheels gained traction. The little snowplow gave a mighty tug, and he pulled the dump truck free. Woohoo! Will cheered. The dump truck shook some snow from his truck bed. I didn't know a snowplow so little could be so strong, he said. Beep, beep. The little snowplow blew his horn. Together, the two trucks worked to clear the boulder. When they finally got back to the garage, all the other trucks honked and beeped and blinked. Great job, they shouted. The little snowplow's snow headlights sagged, his plow dragged, his gas tank was nearly empty. But... Before turning in for the night, he made the light on the top go round and round. He blew his horn. Beep! Beep! He drove forward and back. Then he raised and lowered his plow ten times. Slow. Everything was in working order. He could hardly wait for sleep. The end. If you put your mind to it and practice, you can do anything. Great story. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you soon.